So physios are able to identify weaknesses, limitations, or things that can be improved on that could uh, stop them having surgery or delay the need for surgery. So if we see patients before surgery, we can give them much more of a, a good basis for what to expect from their surgeries. We can educate them about the procedure. We can educate them about pain and, and any limitations that they might have afterwards. People want to get back to what their normal uh, activities are, be it sports or be it just around the house or going to the shops. However, following surgery, this isn't always possible or easy. So physios can help facilitate people through those stages, um, achieve their goals, but do it in a realistic way. We do have a wide, wide range of skills uh, to employ. We have manual therapy, electrotherapy, taping. Uh, we also do biomechanical analysis and uh, gait scanning, as well as all our other normal skills. And often if it's as simple as a bit of exercise prescription, um, often there's a good benefit in that as well. There's always the potential following surgery, if you don't have any treatment or if you don't get back to your baseline, that you will end up with an inhibition, be it pain or movement. You may end up with stiffness or weakness. And ultimately, you run the risk of re-injury further down the line. For simple uh, surgeries like arthroscopies, it may be short-lived over three or four sessions over a couple of months. For total knee replacements, it might be four or six sessions over three, four, five months. And for anterior cruciate ligaments, it may be an extended period of rehab of up to maybe 12 months to get back to sports, which may involve between eight and 12 sessions.